here uh, talking to you about the first uh, critical year of uh, internationalization. So let's get started. What, what am I, uh, and because uh, we're very tight on time, you know, I'll try to, uh, uh, to, to let you know what are, you know, basic objectives uh, today, you know. So I, I would like just to put some ideas and give you some concepts, you know, so that from there, you know, you, you can start thinking about your international education process. So first of all, you know, uh, we'll talk a little bit about how to enter in the U.S. market and and why you know the U.S. And we will talk about a lot of markets. No, we're going to talk about internationalization. But today also, because this event, it's all about software and and technology. You know, we're going to talk a little bit about the U.S. It's a huge and one of the most important markets you know, to go to. For that, otherwise, you know, in another session we may talk about India. And we'll talk about other very large markets as well, you know. But but today we'll talk about this. And uh, some data, some information, you know, about software and U.S. markets. Uh, what do you need to set up your operations, you know, when you go to the U.S.? And we'll give a, a very practical checklist. The, would you, your checklist, you know, when you go international, what do you need to do? How long does it take? How much time do you have to give you to try out a market? How much money do you need to invest in your first year of internationalization? In this case, for the U.S. And I'm sure that a lot of you are, are, are wondering, you know, if I want to go to the U.S., can I raise money in the U.S. with the objective to go there? Okay. So uh, let's get started about the U.S. No, and 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 today U.S. is best market to go there for software, you know, and uh, and not for other companies, of course, you know, but definitely is the leading, you know, software market. And do you need to be there? No? And, uh, and well, it will depend. No, it will depends on it, 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 it depend on, on the on the company you have. You know, there's this concept of of me to company. No? Uh, there's a huge competition there, so that means that if uh, if if your your product, you know. Uh, it's already very crowded in the U.S. Already there, you know. You've already maybe you know just you brought something from the U.S. here. You know, maybe then going back to the U.S. doesn't make that much sense, you know, because they already have it there, no. But um, uh, but it will depend. Now I'll talk a little bit about more about this. Um, 第一个想跟大家说的就是美国，尤其是对于软件公司来讲，是一个非常看好的一个市场。那贵公司是不是也有意愿来进入美国市场呢？当然，有一些情况下可能你引入的这个技术啊，或者相关的因素就是从美国来
这个美国首先第一点是一个非常成熟的，而且非常广阔的，而且在持续增长的一个市场。我之所以说它美国是一个成熟的市场，就是美国有很多的这样的技术型的公司，就像是在第四点说，第四点中说的，做 IT 的公司大概有十万多家。那同时你面临的消费者，他们本身就是专家级的消费者。另外呢，很少有那种啊完全都没有出现过，我想都没有想到过的产品会在美国市场。So the competition is good, and there is a lot of it. Um, there's also a lot of growth. From uh, 97 until you know very recently, the industry, the software industry, grew for 149 billion dollars. Up to now, it's almost you know right now it's almost 600 you know billion. You know, but the, this data is from uh, 2012. You know, billion dollars of growth. Um, 第二点就是说，竞争呢是很好的，而且在美国的确实可以找到很多的这种竞争的局势。那第三点就是说，从一九九七年到二零一二年，美国的这个软件行业的收入已经从一千一百九十亿美元上涨到了四千二百五十亿美元。And uh, and also you can see that uh, U.S. is basically you know the half of the world. You know when we're talking about uh, a little bit even more, you know when we're talking about the industry because you know, 65 percent of the this software is created in the U.S. 65 percent. I mean if we imagine the the whole world with all the countries in it, you know 65 percent of all the software is produced in just one place. You know and uh, and from all these sales, they do the 50 percent abroad. You know so they not only sell in the U.S. But actually, they sell abroad, and actually, the 80% of the of the companies that export outside in the U.S. they don't do any effort because other people that do any any effort of, of selling abroad. Because what happens is that because they have such a powerful brand as U.S., you know, people from outside countries from outside they go to the U.S. to buy. Um, this is the 这个软件行业在全球的比重还是非常大的，像他这一点，百分之六十五的软件企业都是在。Can you go back to that slide? Yes, sorry. 呃，百分之六十五的软件企业都是在美国成立的，然后他们的销售呢，大概有百分之五十是面向海外的。同时，他提到了一个例子，因为美国公司的品牌非常的强劲，那很多做美国公司品牌产品的这些呃外国的呃公司，他们。不担心啊，美国公司不用担心，因为这些人和客户会主动找到这些美国的品牌公司。So about the talent, uh, and if you go there, and Kasha was talking, was talking about, you know, uh, at some point, you know, about uh, about about talent opportunities. No, in Thailand, there is a lot of competition there as well. You know, there is 2.5 million people employed on software. You know, uh, so there is a lot of experts, a lot of a lot of good talent. Also, super expensive. You know, and uh, and it's difficult as well to uh, to keep them because there's a lot of competition. You know, so you have to constantly motivate them, engage them, you know, to 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 build you know a great team. 这一点是关于人才的情况。那在美国的这个人才的竞争是非常激烈的，而且人才的成本也是很高的。在美国，二零一四年的数据是软件的从业人员有二百五十万人。那这些人员，因为你不想让他流动性太大，所以你要不停地激励你的团队，并且让你的团队有很强的参与感。嗯哼。Uh, although, uh, and this is why you know branding is so important. This is why you know a, a engaging you know your team is so important, so that you so you build a good team that stays with you, you know, and you have to keep on doing this. I've heard you know that here in China is also uh, difficult, you know, to and very competitive, you know, to to keep teams, you know, and 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 uh, and that in that you you have to work a lot, you know, on, on that, you know. But I think that it's for different reasons also, you know, you think that that, uh, that that here, you know, people are looking for a lot of constant different opportunities and moving, you know, so there's not so much loyalty with one particular company, you know. In the U.S., you can build a lot of loyalty, loyalty if you build a great brand. Um, 还有让团队有这个参与感是至关重要的，这样你可以一直保证你的团队和你一起一起成长。我听说在中国这样的人才竞争也是非常激烈的，留住人才也只是企业认为一个比较大的一个难题
呃，那中国的人才可能情况不一样，就是很多人呢，就是希望通过跳槽来呃获取自己的更好的职业发展。那员工的忠诚度可能会相对来讲比较低。在美国，你可以通过建立公司自己的品牌来提高员工的忠诚度。And then a, a little bit more about the U.S. No, and innovation investment. U.S. concentrates the 55% of the investigation and, and development in the ITC, you know, industries. You know, again, you know, the half of the world, you know, is 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 again, you know, in in the U.S. It concentrates as well the biggest private investment of the world in this in this case by far, um, and the investment in software has grown 70% last year, almost 12 billion dollars were invested. You know, in these uh, in these companies, you know, in this industry, also is the country that concentrates more exit opportunities because all the Facebooks all the world are there. You know, so these are potential you know exit as well. Um, this year, we talked about this. This is the U.S. economic situation, the economic situation. The U.S. is concentrated on the largest share of the U.S. market, about 55% of the U.S. market in the internet and the internet. 呃，电子电子通信领域的呃调研和开发的工作，那美国同时有世界上最大的私人投资，同时呢，在美国，嗯，在软件及及及服务的这个投资领域，呃，在去年就上涨了百分之七十，二零一四年这个数据达到了一亿一千七百万呃美元。这些投资都是集中在了软件及服务的公司里面。那最后一点就是讲，呃，在美国也集中了很多，就是关于公司退出的最佳的机遇。So before I go for the keys、uh, for your internationalization, this checklist that I told you, how many of you have companies or、uh, startups or companies, mid-sized companies that have a presence or are you actually currently selling outside China? 呃、uh, ，在我就是讲这一点之前，我想问问大家，有哪些公司就成长，尤其是成长型的公司，已经有 have their products selling in China？ 哦、yeah. oh, yeah. ，有你自己的产品在海外已经销售了，有这样的公司吗 ？The one person， and and yourself， another company， okay， and um， what countries are you selling？ 向哪个国家进行销售 ？U.S. and Europe。U.S. and Europe。How many of you、uh, guys、um, are thinking about going international and are looking at U.S. market, for example, as a one of one of the target markets? Ah, 那又有多少公司就是真的已经有这个全球化的想法，同时有这个进入美国市场的这个意愿呢 ？Right now, for international, nobody, uh, 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 就是任何的一个国家全球化的，只要是任何一个国家 ，especially U.S. market, right? Yeah, or any other market, for international edition, right? 就美国市场或者任何市场都行。Okay, so how many of you? Um, are entrepreneurs yourself, or you know, you, you are an in, in, inner entrepreneur, you know? So, so. 那我们这里面有多少的创业者呢？自己创办的 entrepreneurs. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. And uh, just the last question, out of curiosity, how many of, of you can understand what you're saying without the translation? Something at least you know the fifty percent of what I'm saying. Um, 对，我就是好奇的问一下，就是如果没有翻译的话，呃，大家能不能听懂我讲的这些内容？就比如说，大概百分之五十的内容，大家能听懂吗 ？There's few, there's there's a few people, no, like at least you know fifty percent. I'm going to do that. Okay, if I can hear you. Great. Okay. So, um, keys for us. This is going to be like a checklist, very practical, you know. So, when you're thinking about going international, going for the next step, what you should have in mind. First of all, local team, uh, and and that is crucial. Now you have to become a <coughs> local company. You know, you cannot now now in the U.S., for example, or in India or anywhere, you're not going to be a Chinese company anymore in that country. Now you have to act as a U.S. company. Like exactly the same way, like if、uh, like an international company when they come here, they have to act local as well. 呃
，第一点就是首先要有一个当地的目标市场的当地团队，然后需要像这个当地公司一样的运营，比如说你在美国或者是在印度有这样公司，你就要呃像美国印度公司一样。Mm, exactly. So, um, and, and what we recommend is that you always hire a senior person that can be a country manager or maybe sales. You know, someone that needs to be senior. Three things. Very important. Three things. One, senior person. Second, you know, an expert on the industry, on the vertical that you are in. It could be software, or it could be mobile, or, or e-commerce, whatever you are doing. And third, it needs to be a hands-on person. It's very important, and I, by hands-on, I mean because the, the guy is going to be. I mean, you have a, you, if you're a startup or if you're a medium-sized company, you maybe not going to hire like a big team, no? Because it's also in the U.S. is specifically very expensive. So you need that, that that person doesn't need a big infrastructure under that person to make things done, no? get things done. 所以第一点就是我强烈的建议你们就在当地聘用一个呃销售副总裁或者是一个当地国家的国家总。呃，总经理，那这个人大概他提到了三点的要求，第一个就是首先是资深的，其次是你所要从事的这个行业的专家，另外一点就是他需要是一个能够立即上手的人，不需要你给他太多的这个指导。And then you, going you know, to the UN doesn't mean that you are going to jeopardize what you have here. Also, actually, all the way around, you, you you actually want to leverage what you have here. You keep your team, you know, uh, it, it to support so that you don't need to have a big a bigger team in the US. You keep <coughs> your team here, you know, and you keep on building as well whatever you're doing here. That's important. 那进入美国市场并不意味着你要抛开你当地的就中国的团队。那你中国最大的这个人数还是可以留在中国。Exactly, and then in uh, in the U.S. also maybe you will end up you know hiring a top guy you know in the U.S. that means a very uh, like a star a top star you know in the U.S. for whatever it is that is important for your company you know, if you're a product company or you're a technology company or you know you need you know these experts for this specific technology or you may need in the U.S. then to have you know social media guys you know uh, Kaushal was mentioning you guys are very digital you know. But not with tools that anybody else in the rest of the world can see. You know, so you may need um, you need somebody that, somebody that is expert on this. 嗯，那第二点就是说啊，第三点就是你可能还在美国需要聘用一个当地的呃比较创新型的顶尖人才。这个人才可能呃，比如说你要从事的是产品型的或者是科技型的公司，那你需要找一个有这样相应背景的人人才。那还有像刚才 c o s h o 也提到了这样的例子，比如说你想从事社交媒体这样的领域，那你就很需要这样的人才，因为中国的这个数字化还是很局限在国内的。And then, of course, you know, when I'm asking you, will you need to travel? Well, uh, uh, yes, definitely. You know, the CEO uh, always needs will need to travel there. Sometimes, you know, you, you will have your country manager, your VP sales, someone senior, you know, that can you know close deals for you, that can create an agenda for you. But at the end of the day, you know, well, it's very important that you that you go, you constantly travel the first year. You know, definitely much more than you know you can you can um, and you can start delegating or having you know. A country manager that takes care of everything, but at the end of the day, the CEO is always present. 那很多人也会问，那我是不是要经常出差呢？那答案也是是的，肯定的。比如说，你即使在一个目标的国家有这样的一个管理人才，一个 CEO， 那他可能帮你把这个呃这个这个交易拿下了，但是可能最后需要真正的拍板做最后决定的，还是需要你亲自到场。Yeah, and then uh, the second thing, do I need to be in Silicon Valley? You know, because the U.S. is a huge market, and Silicon Valley is a part of this market. You know, but uh, do I need to be there? Well, and we would say, well, depends. You know, it will depend. You know, not all the companies need to be in the Silicon Valley. Not all the companies should be in Silicon Valley. You know, because it's a huge, it's a, it's a very expensive market. And uh, if you don't need to be there, definitely you're just wasting your money and time and and uh, and. and So we have you have to be at the end of the day where your clients are, you know. So where where are going to be your clients, you know? And uh, also, you know, you can strategically position where you're going to have exit opportunities. Sometimes you know you say, well, you know, I'm a, I I need to be buy by Facebook. Well, then you, you then you will need to be there at the end of the day, no? But uh, but this is why you know where are your clients? 
you know, uh, and for example, you know, if, if you have a software, you know, that it's for education, you know, well, maybe you need to be in California, you know, because the 40% of the uh, public money of the state, you know, money is dedicated, you know, for education, and that's over 76 uh, billion dollars, you know, of into that. So that's probably well, maybe you, you want to explore, you know, that market, or you're gaming in social media, definitely in San Francisco, because it's the biggest one for that. Media, well, everybody knows, know that New York, you know, could be the right place, you know, to be. More traditional businesses, you know, for example, Chicago, you know, it's a fantastic, huge market, uh, exit and capital, you know, San Francisco. So at the end of the day, you know, wh where are your clients? Where is your opportunity? You know, and then you have to find a lean strategy as well, you know, because sometimes, you know, some of the markets are very expensive and you can find, you know, the best way. 客户到底是在哪里的如果你是传媒的纽约，如果你是做传呃制造业或传统行业的，芝加哥有很大的市场。如果你想做推出和资本的旧金山是你的选择。You need to become local, and we were talking about hiring a local team. Now we also have to become local, you know. Um, and the same, you know, as an international company comes here, they now have to become Chinese company. Why? Because Chinese like to deal with Chinese companies. Well, same with American. You know, American like to deal with American companies. You know, so you now have to become local, you know. And actually one of the factors of success, you know, of Silicon Valley companies is that they act local. You know, they create all these prototypes, they do it local, they think local, they think for the business. And then, you know, everything, you know, goes from there, you know. But that's, that's very important. And then, uh, and what I mentioned, you know, American companies like to deal with American companies. You know? So America also is a huge market, same culture, same language. So it's actually, and, and in the case of America as well, it's a, it's a culture that has, you know, when you ask an American, you know, what does it mean to be American? They actually know how to answer that question. You know? I'm, for example, a Spaniard. You ask me, you know, what does it mean to be a Spaniard? I have no clue, you know, it's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but for them, you know, they have some particular values, some particular things. So it's, so it's actually, you can try that, that code, you know, you can become you know, American, and you have to think that way when you go to that market. 这些第三点讲的是你还要本土化那美国人他都是会有自己的这个价值观，如果你能把这一套价值观掌握住了，你还是能很好的融入到美国当地的市场。So you set up and now we come to tech list. You know, what do you need before you go there? This has to be prepared before you go. That's the key. No? Um, otherwise, most of the companies is where they actually lose a lot of money no? <laughs> because they don't do it before. First of all, and it looks very obvious, you know, market research is very typical, but it's actually very important, you know, because you need to know where in the U.S., if we're talking to the U.S., or where in India, where somebody, you know, where do we need to go, you know, what opportunities we have, risks, you know, cultural nuances, you know, some legal matters that you will need to know, you know, otherwise, you know, you kind of arrive there and you have no clue, you know, and these are very large and complex markets, you know. Like, like China as well, you know, when you come here, you, you will need to know all those things or you will lose a lot of money and time. Um, this point is that in this <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音
And now very important, um, all of your marketing materials, your website, everything that you have to sell here, it just won't work in the US. So, uh, so now everything that we have, you know, doesn't matter, we leave it here in, in China and then we create everything differ, different from the US. We'll have to create a US website, you know, that, that is targeted specifically for American companies so that they can feel, you know, that, that you're an American company. All the marketing materials, they have to look and feel American, not only translation to the language, they actually have to look American with their benefits and, and the way the language that they have, you know, they have a specific way, you know, to market. So we have to copy that. You, you, you have to have uh, days like Americans. Your sales process, you'll have to revise your sales process and then, you know, make sure, you know, that that works in the U.S., you know, to have all these standards as well in the U.S., to have your training ready, you're going to hire people, you don't want, you know, when, that when they join, they'll have to wait, you know, several months until they actually have a proper training because, you know, you're wasting money and time and they, you lose their motivation. Uh, if you're a software company, you, you sell with demos, no? That, that's, that's how you do it. So, so you create, uh, you, you have your database of potential clients, no? And you contact them, you call them, you know, you set up, you know, and you set up a demo for them, you know? Then you can, you can be in person or you can be, by the way, in, in the U.S., you know, it's fine to do that, you know, over the, over the, the internet, you know? You can do a, a WebEx or, or, or a Skype or whatever it is, you know, so that you present your demo. This demo, uh, as well, you will need to revise this. It has to, it, again, you know, it has to work for the U.S. market. So all these demo has to. Work. And here I'll give some examples. You know, for example, um, the other day in Spain we were doing uh, a conference talking about this. One of the one of the companies, he explained uh, that when he went to the U.S., uh, he had, you know, his demo and he had his product. He was <coughs> showing it, you know, to uh, to potential clients, and they realized that it was not fast enough. You know that maybe in Spain a few years back it worked. You know because because that uh, the 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 clients would be used to that standard. You know so it, it was working. You know but then you take that same product or that same demo that they were built and then you take it to a market. We talked about the maturity of this market. They know absolutely everything better than anyone. You know because uh, uh, because the clients itself are, are used to all these things. So now when you present them this demo or this product, they go like, well, it's too slow, or, you know, I need to do too many clicks, or this doesn't work, you know. So it has to fit, you know, obviously, with the market standards. And then proposal and contracts ready. And this looks so obvious. No? I mean, when you, you, know, you need to have a proposal contract ready. Well, you wouldn't believe how many companies they go international. They 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 are going to sign their first client. No, they they have this first potential. And they say, okay, send me a proposal. Oh my God, we don't have a proposal. You know, for that particular market. And it takes time to create them. You know, it actually, uh, I mean, it's not like a five minutes thing. You have to, you have to create a proposal. It has to go through a lawyer. By the way, in America, lawyers are very expensive. You know, they can charge you like 500 an hour, you know, and, uh, and uh, in, in San Francisco and all, 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 uh, and all that areas. 
So, so you have to have that ready. And the proposals and the contracts, they need to be short, and they need to cover you. You know, it's a very tedious society, it's a very tedious market, so definitely you want to make sure that you are covered with everything, but at the same time, it's simple, it's short, so that it's not sitting on the table of the lawyer of our client for weeks, you know, but it actually moves fast. 当然就是这一点就是提到了你的提案书比较简洁比较明了也不希望他这个活动在对方的律师的桌子上放好多天他也不看 Perfect and then uh, another thing very important is pipeline no? um, one, of the, one of the ways one of the strategies to actually know what is the next country I should go for you know and if you go to your website you know and you see how many people from other countries are clicking into my website are asking information I even asking proposals you know through my website, if I'm a software company and I sell online, you know, so I'll get leads, I'll get potential clients contacting me in my website. So the app, actually I have US potential clients knocking at my door and saying, hey, you know, I want to know more, more what you're doing, you know. So that is creating a pipeline, creating a pipeline that is going to help you say, okay, yeah, well, US market could be uh, an important market for me, or I should go to to, uh, to India, or I should go to Singapore, or to wherever my clients are, you know, because I see that they are already looking at what I'm doing, you know. So that's a, a, a good indicative of knowing, you know, your next country, you know. And then it's always very important that when you go to that next country, you already have some kind of a pipeline, you know, that you can start working on. Another thing very important, we were talking about, you know, this connectivity as well. You know, make sure that your website in China, some people from outside, they can see them, you know, and, uh, and that they are visible. And that, uh, that the look and feel, uh, it can also be attractive, you know, for other markets so that they can feel like, okay, yeah, this can be also a good product, you know, for us. You know, so don't limit, otherwise you're going to limit your market only to China. You won't be able to see what other markets, you know, can, can, can do for you. 另外一个就是你一个客源上的准备国外人也可以看得到，而且你要做得好，否则不然的话，你的市场肯定就是局限在中国市场了。So uh, then, uh, a lot of a lot of you may be you were wondering, you know, so how much do you ha do I have to invest? You know, how much will it cost me? You know, to to go to the U.S. You know, the first year. You know, because the first year is always an investment. You know, always you have to you have to you have to think that the first year, you know, it's all cost. You know, you. you and there's always revenues in the first year, but it's going to be very difficult because you, nobody knows you in that market. You have to build everything, so it takes time. You know, so you have to prepare a budget, you know, for the first year. And it would say depends. You know, so depends uh, what that. But we always recommend, you know, a minimum of half a million. You know, you, you have to have, you know, half a million that you have in separate there in your budget. You know, to be ready to open the U.S. market. You know, and the teams are expensive. You know, also you're going to have lots of expenses, logistics, troubles, office, you know, legal fees. There will be a lot of stuff, you know, and then marketing, you know, it has to be most of the of your budget, you know, trying to get into the market. So it's, it's a tough one. So, it's, so you, you have to put a lot of money into that, you know, and what? Um, 这一点就是说很多人会问so it's very important that to be ready with this, not to to uh, to have this this budget ready. Otherwise, you'll have to leave the market before, 
And that is a problem because then you will take a lot of time to go back to that market because now you're disappointed about that market, it didn't work, you know, so you, you won't want to try it again for a long time, you know, because, and, and then you lose a great opportunity, a, a potential great opportunity for you just because you didn't have enough money you know, to go to that market so you didn't go to the right time, you know. Or, you know, you have to, you know, stop, raise money, it always takes a lot of time raising money or taking the money from other places you know, that you, that you have, maybe you have like other stuff, you know. So it's important, you know, to have that money ready. have 
a, a lot of a, a huge you know, opportunities here to raise money. There's a lot of investors. There's a lot of activity. There is a lot of money as well in this country. So you always can you know find the money here with the objective, the use of funds of going international. Once you are there, you build the traction, and then you definitely want to have you know a U.S. or Silicon Valley or whatever it is you know uh, investor. Not only for the money, but now they're going to help you you know to you know to strategically to go to the next uh, step in that market. 嗯,對,當然是比較難的,因為正常情況下美國人比較希望你第一步證明你的市場實力,那他們其次才會進入到你的這個公司的融資的階段,因為當你這個從這個層面上看,美國的這個投資者還是比較保守的,你在中國的這